Hello guys, JW Tifa here, and we are starting a new Let's Play that I already mentioned in one of my other videos. I know I was talking about how everyone was doing the Not So Berry, I guess, I don't know, you could call it a challenge or a legacy, it, it, it's different. Um, and I couldn't help myself, so I've created a sim and I created a house and we're gonna we're just gonna start playing it because i i honestly i can i can't i can't help myself i'm sorry Sue me. so i did actually build my own house and i did a speed build of that that i haven't edited yet so i haven't uploaded it yet so you will actually probably end up getting this part which is going to be part one before we even get into the uh before i upload the speed build but whenever I do upload the speed build, whichever part I'm working on, I will link it down in the description. I will also link the rules for this challenge that was created by Little Simsy. Hold on, let me check. Yes, Little Simsy. And um, I think Always Simming. Yes, Always Simming. Little Simsy created this Let's Play. And it's, it's kind of like a legacy challenge in that you have 10 generations and you have heirs but your heirs are required to kind of do stuff before they even have kids so it's not even really necessarily a legacy challenge because most of the time they're only having one or two kids you're really focusing on the sim itself and my audio might be a little weird guys because um i don't know i just can't really seem to get it to be loud enough or or it's too loud and I, I can't find a happy medium and I already have so many issues with the recording of my um, audio sometimes that I'm just like I don't even really feel like messing with it too much okay so I have a sim here and the reason we're on her is because she's kind of important how she looks and stuff also plays a key factor in the uh, the let's play um if you wanted to uh, I will like I said, link the rules or whatever into the description. But Vixella is also a YouTuber that is doing this challenge and Urban Sims. And I watch both of those. So if you want to watch them or get the challenges from them, you can also look it up. And I do believe that Lil Simsy is doing her own uh, Let's Play of her challenge as well. So you can watch theirs and I'll try to possibly remember to link theirs in the description too in case you're interested in watching theirs. Um, so... Real quick, some of the basic rules are each air must represent the color of the generation. The first generation is mint, as you can maybe sort of guess. Although I will state, guys, that I didn't even know what mint really was. Like, I knew it was a color, but I honestly was like, is it more blue? Is it more green? Like, I couldn't even think of what the color mint was. So, a if you notice, a lot of her outfits kind of just have a huge amount of blues and greenish colors going on because I was kind of like, I don't really know what's mint and what's not. And I had to actually Google the color, which is kind of funny. Um, so yes, each air must represent the color of the generation, either with hair, makeup, or clothing. Brightly colored skin is an option, but not necessary. Okay, the colors of the spouse don't matter as they're, they're not part of the challenge. Unless otherwise stated, you can do whatever you please with them. So some of them might have challenges where this heir has to find a certain uh, spouse or whatever. But for the most part, it doesn't matter what they look like. Just because you're going to change the heir's appearance to suit whatever you need it to. You must keep the lifespan on normal. And um, you may live wherever you please unless something is specified in the rules of a generation. And money cheats can be used, but not excessively. I do not plan to be using any money cheats. Now, most legacy challenges require you to start from rock bottom anyway, and you have, like, almost no money. This one, they're kind of like, you know, you can use the free real estate app and have, you know, a really nice house. But I did actually build a home for, I think it was a little over 19000 So you can have a sim, literally a starter sim, move into the house. And, I mean, we're going to be completely broke, but I think we'll get there. So those are your basic rules. And then for Generation 1 Mint, you're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. The traits have to be uh, jealous, vegetarian, and materialistic, because I guess we're going with the green theme. The aspiration is chief of mischief, and chief of mischief, mischief comes with the dastardly trait and... Is it going to tell me what it does? We might have to just go back into this. 
D there it is. Dastardly sins perform stronger and more successful mean interactions. So she's very mischievous. And career, of course, is scientist. Rules, master scientist career. You must master mischief and logic skills and complete elements collection. So the reason that this challenge is so fun and the reason that I'm assuming everyone's just kind of engrossed in it is because it does kind of push you to do things that you might not necessarily do. Like, I don't think I've ever completed the elements collection, even just playing by myself, like off camera. I haven't mastered the scientist's career. Honestly, I was playing a, like, I was playing with the scientist's career and I think I made it like two levels away from mastering it before my computer died and decided that it didn't want me to have the save files anymore. So I haven't mastered the scientist's career and I never had a mischievous sim. I do not know why, but I've always grown like, I guess kind of like attached to my sims and I don't really, like, I guess they kind of represent me too and I would never like go out of my way to be mischievous or to like hurt someone so this would be interesting to kind of push myself to like make those interactions and be a prankster and be kind of mean because I never have sims that do that so I went full on nerd with her okay guys like I was thinking awesome mad scientist loves the color mint and I saw these glasses and I was like yes that's it it's happening so her hair and I don't have any custom content. Not that I don't like custom content, I do. It's just that custom content has caused my computer a lot of problems in the past. And so I was like, we're not gonna go with that again because it always does kind of uh, mess up my computer. So that's why everything that you see my sim has and everything is actually, um, well not base game, but just Sims 4 game um, stuff. I love this outfit. It is very cute, and I, the reason I kind of picked out this dress was because it does have that old-fashioned kind of vibe to it. If you notice, as we go through her outfits, a lot of her outfits are very 70s slash late 60s kind of look. I don't know why. It just kind of happened, especially when these glasses almost like it's just going to happen. Her eyes are kind of a, like, minty color, too. In fact, if anything, it's probably a little overwhelmingly minty, but it's okay if it's a challenge. All right, let's go into her. Let's look at her formal. As you can tell her formal, this is what gives me the really strong 70s vibe. Like this shirt is so old fashioned looking and we have the big, huge wide pants and they're colored an off color. They're like green. Cause I was like, what in the world would match green except this shirt? And I just think it looks so perfect together. And I also gave her some like blue out in your face eyeliner that's kind of a mintyish color. Hmm. Kind of goes with her hair a good bit and some white shoes. This the only thing minty about it really is her hair and her eyes. And the shorts are like a generic blue, but I figured we'll keep her workout kind of simple. This was the closest color I could find to mint for her to wear in as like pajamas and I really like these pants by the way and party I put the glasses back on her face and I gave her this cute cardigan with a belt and like I said again we've got like the go-go boots and these brown pants and this cardigan with a belt like it's so 70s. For her swimwear I kept it very like I don't know like she gives me the picture of being like a really shy nerdy sim and I don't see her overexposing too much so I put a gray tank top on her. That way this gray hat would go because I kind of love the hat on her and she happened to be wearing the hat when I transitioned. I'm like, okay, I got to keep the hat because it's just too fantastic. The bottoms are, which real quick, I can let you actually see them by just doing this real quick. Um, as you can tell, they're like a minty color and they've got some purple that matches the hat and they're really cute. So yeah, this is Lily Willard. I didn't want to give her like... I was trying to think of a name so hard that went with like something minty and then I was like but why why would I do that when you know the next one's gonna be the next generation after mint is rose and then you have yellow and all that so I was like I'm just gonna give her a name and random gave her the name Lily and then <laughs> Willard was like the third or fourth randomized name that I came up with so yeah um her name is Lily Willard and this is 
her. And we're gonna actually move into the uh, house now. Cause I haven't even, I literally created her and then I stopped and was like, okay, I'm gonna start recording. That way you guys can get an actual nice introduction to her before I go in and we don't, you know, have her anymore. Okay, so play. Click the check to save this household to your library. Yep. I think she's really cute and I'm really interested. I've never really made like a super nerdy kind of sim, even though we couldn't pick out her traits. I feel like if we were to pick out her traits, she would definitely be like a geek. Okay. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered something, guys. I do not... I haven't placed the house, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna let me place the house while we're trying to move her in. Maybe it will, I don't know. We'll look, we'll see. We'll have to see. What am I doing there? Come on. Oh, it says value is actually 16,000. <sighs> Darn it. Let's see. Let's see. Can I, like... Man, I really hate to do this. To just place her in something so that I can actually put her in it next. Can I place her in a lot and then move the house, maybe? Because I think Chris is, like, straight up empty, of course. Because I, I literally just started this game. I didn't even have anything set out. Um, yeah. Let's just confirm. And maybe we can get her to move into the next one. Sorry, guys. Again, th this is my let's play all the time. Um, maybe somewhat prepared. Most of the time, not prepared. Just flailing around. Okay. Um, what about now? Can I place the lot here while we're... Go to, uh, Manage Worlds, I guess? Save and go to Manage Worlds. She's just gonna chill. And, um, yeah, so, like, how's your day going? <laughs> this is my first time recording in our, uh, new house, so... It's kind of weird, actually, because I'm, like, home alone, and <laughs> it's echoey in the room that we're in, because we don't really have a lot of stuff, and we actually, me and him have an office now. It's fantastic. We're not recording in the living room slash our bedroom. We have a separate room. It's amazing. But the only thing that's in here is my desk. Vacuuming a while ago. Okay. I can't place a lot where she is, can I? Can I? Is he gonna let me? <gasps> Hold on, let's see if this works. Yeah, keep. This is pro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Furnished. Yeah, there's no furniture, so we're not gonna. We're just going to go this way. And we'll give us the remaining funds of 1475 And we can work with that, guys. We can work with this. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, yeah. And then there's there's a nightstand in here. Because honestly, our room that we're staying in was way too tiny. It was way too tiny for both of our nightstands. So one of the nightstands is in here. And there's another chair in here. <laughs> and that's it. So the walls are really echoey and I feel like I'm screaming at you guys. That's not really the way I wanted it. Oh, lot traits. Yes, I want to talk about these with you guys. Um, can I talk to you about them when we're in the game, maybe? I'm so excited for this Let's Play. <laughs> like, that's why I kind of just gave up. It was like I really didn't want to um, play it. But at the same time, I really wanted to. Okay. 
And when I do the speed build, you'll get more of a like a grand tour, I guess. We got a good bit of land. I didn't do a lot of landscaping, like trees and stuff, because I didn't want, like I said, I wanted to keep the money kind of under budget. Um, I love these flowers. They're very minty. They're very pretty. Uh, she's very gardeny like. I or at least I get the feeling that she's gardening. Okay, she wants to admire possessions because she's materialistic, and she wants to evangelize vegetarian benefits to another sim because she's vegetarian. Perfect. I have these two little plots where she can like garden or we can either end up putting some more plants later as you get money if that's what you know we choose to do or whatever. Um, starting a let's play is always slow but also probably like the, ooh, excuse me, the best part. Okay, so with mint, I did go maybe a little overboard. I didn't know what to paint the, the layer or whatever, so I just kind of kept it basic and simple right now we might end up using either this or um I don't know I don't know yet I kind of really like the living room one I also really like the uh, kitchen one because it's very simple with the kitchen I did a bunch of whites and stuff um because white pretty much goes with everything and I just felt like white and mint was very good so as you can tell the tv's white the table's white and everything we have a desk um I didn't buy us a computer though yet and yeah, everything's really simple. I really do like the bedroom. The bedroom's the only thing that didn't go with, like, the straight-up white and mint color context. Instead, I went with a, like, purple and brown with the, like, big, huge mints. And there again, we have, like, this weird 70s vibe that I'm getting because this seems straight up, like, out of some sort of Austin Powers movie. I'm not even kidding. So, for the elements collection, you do need to get this, um, I don't know what it's called, but it holds the element blocks and stuff. I have done it before, I just haven't completely filled it up or experimented with it. With it. We can put like a chemistry set or something else in here when we get time, because like I said, she's the mad scientist. And I really like this, I kind of have it hidden. Like you can tell that there's another room here probably, but there's not a door. So she uses the bookshelf to get to it. And that's the first thing we're going to do is lock door for everyone but Lily. That way no one can go back there into her like secret lair or whatever. And I want to get a fish and have a like fish in here because you know why not. Okay so I this part's probably going to be kind of long but at the same time it's going to be mostly me talking which is going to be kind of weird I guess. But um, first things first she has to be a scientist so find a job. Come on, Lily. Okay, scientist. Um, she's gonna make twenty-four dollars an hour, starting as a lab technician from ten a.m. to seven p.m. And we're probably gonna go to work with her a lot, so that'll be great. She's got. She doesn't work until tomorrow. So fantastic. First things first. She wants to have two breakthroughs. Can we use this as a bookshelf? We can't even use it as a bookshelf, can we? Oh, that's kind of sad. I was really hoping we could use that as a bookshelf so that... Because I really don't... We'll just admire that possession. Because I really don't know what else... Breakthroughs are really good with, like, uh, reading a book and stuff. But I don't really know what else could cause her to have a breakthrough. So she did that. She wants to watch world culture television. Hold on. It should tell us some things that will help her have a breakthrough, won't it? While, for example, while gardening, reading, or performing experiments. We can't perform, but we can garden. We just gotta find some stuff. Okay, she wants to talk to them. Why not? She needs some friends, and she needs some people to, um, to be mischievous to. I'm gonna look for plants. And, of course, collectibles are good. Not only is it money... But it gives us, um, darn it. Nothing's ready to bloom yet either, I bet. Something to collect with the elementals. Did she actually introduce herself to any of them? <laughs> Nothing's ready. Well, we can't afford a bookshelf, so we might as well buy it. Because we definitely have the money. Where do I want to put that? 
I guess I want to put in her secret lair, even though I was really hoping that that door would count. Am I not in build mode? What's happening? Okay. I feel like I'm like screaming at myself. <laughs> There's no one in here and the room's so echoey. This is cheapest. This is a little bit more, but at the same time, this I like this one because it goes on the wall. Hold on, I don't think we want to go with white since everything else is that dark brownish color. Hmm. Yep, we'll go with this. Fantastic. Now I bet we can't put anything on that shelf, but you know. <sighs> capsules. Dude, just don't, don't open the capsules. The likelihood that you're going to get something that's very, um... That's worth your while for opening it is slim to none. <laughs> so what you end up doing is if you get like this, um, oh, oh, oh my, we found a diamond. It's really not worth as much as you would think it would be. I think we can send a sample to the Geo Council and then that becomes part of our elements thing, I think. Yeah, there's 0 out of 15. I'm not sure. We're going to try it, though. So, the issue being she has to be, like, at the house to uh, benefit. All right. Send to Geo Council, maybe? Or does that give us more money? The sample has been sent to the National Sim Geolo Geological Ooh, Council for Elemental Isolation. Expect your isolated elements to be melty in the next area. So, okay. Yeah, so that does work. Um, Why has no one come to, like, greet us? Is it because we have no neighbors? It's probably because we have no neighbors and we need to actually put people in here. Um, Let's see. What do I need to do here? Form 10 mean or be just, Can we be mean to her? Like, do a rude introduction to Nancy because no one likes Nancy. We're just going to be mean to all the, uh, what is she doing? We're going to be mean to all the, um. What, 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 what's the word? Land grab. That counted. Well, she looks nice and kind of cool. What's her name? Lena. We'll be nice to Lena. We'll be rude to Nancy and then immediately come over here and be nice to Lena. She's cute. I like her. Hey. Uh -huh. Ah, nope, sir. Okay, she's here. <laughs> also, you might hear my cat in the background. I don't know why, but she's super, uh. like, meowy and whatever. They're they're not handling the uh, the move very well. Let's see. Well, that's right here, but I don't feel like that's something you should do when you first meet someone. So we're gonna do a joke. A flush. Divinate. <laughs> Are you, who are you joking with? She's like, okay, whatever, crazy. Okay, now we're gonna evangelize. Be like, hey, we just told you an awesome joke about, um, Martians. Now I totally think you should, uh, I totally think you should become a vegetarian because, you know, vegetarianism is awesome. <laughs> Okay, she's done now. Lena agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as she thought. Oh, cool. We're, we're transforming people. Alright, she wants to collect a new fossil. We gotta get a nice picture of her for the thumbnail before I forget. Because I totally will forget, guys. You know me. I wish that would go away. Alright. What else can we collect? We were going to have a breakthrough, weren't we? Well, drats. A little too late. Hey, there are all these people over here. Please cook something so that I don't have to. What did you make? Is this tofu? It usually tells you when you hover over it. Well, I don't know what that is. Hmm. And I'm not seeing any... Oh. We didn't even go over here. 
Come over here. Dig that up. Ooh, we can get a fish for our uh, fishy fish for our fish tank. Fishy fish tank. Oh my goodness. She's she's doing pretty good. Her social's up pretty good still. The only thing that's kind of going down is her fun now. All right, and we can send that in, I think. Yes, but not right now because we're not at the house, and we're gonna catch a fish for our fish tank. <laughs> hey, fishing is good. I didn't even have to buy a bookshelf. I could have saved some of that money for now. But I mean, we still have a. Th it's not like you know we're gonna. We're gonna need it eventually, so it's not like we, you know, it was a terrible decision. Right? <laughs> I really like, um, Generation Challenges, guys. I was doing the Disney Legacy one on my own, kind of off camera, just to test it out and stuff before my computer had a breakdown. This is, like, the perfect picture. <laughs> And then, um, I made it to, like, Generation 6 before it just broke. And then I lost them, of course. And I don't even remember what generation it was. <sighs> I think I was close to Milan, I think. Anyway, I might bring that into a play and actually record or create the Disney Legacy Challenge and record that. Because I really do enjoy legacy challenges. I don't know why, but they're just so fascinating to me. And it's like the only thing that motivates me to, um, I guess, kind of keep playing, so to speak. Because I do get kind of burnt out of playing just randomly on my own usually. So this kind of keeps me focused and gives me something to do. And I know that I know that I have something for my sim to do every day instead of just run around and, you know, not know what to do. So that's always nice. Like I said, I might bring that up. I might not. I didn't catch a fish. Oh, why are you so bad at this? We're going to go fishing again. And with, um, where are you going? With this challenge, I might not just record every single second of her life. Because, like, right now, honestly, we're not doing anything interesting. Um, <laughs> what? It, why? <laughs> what was the point of that? Um, but reco we'll record parts like when she goes to work or, you know, if we go out with friends and stuff. And, of course, after we have the children and stuff, it'll get more interesting. So, I am going to wrap up this part here. Hopefully, she'll catch a fish, maybe. And I will see you guys in the next part, whenever that may be. It might be after. It will probably be when she first starts to uh, go to work tomorrow. Um... And I'll let you know anyone that we're particularly rude to or friendly with, of course. So, if you like this and you want to see more of it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me know that I'm having a positive, or, um, yes, positive impact on um, my channel. And subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!